Hey guys, how are you? My name is Elif and welcome to my YouTube channel. So for today's video I thought I would do something that I haven't done before and that is a try on haul. I've been buying so many things the past few weeks that I thought it would be interesting to come in here, show you what I got, why I got them and then maybe style them with a try on haul to kind of just get the vibe of what I was going for. Many things I have not opened yet so we're gonna go through them together and there's a lot of things to go through so let's just get straight with the video. Starting with Matches Fashion and I picked up a pair of shoes today and they are from Valentino. So funny story about this pair of shoes, I saw them for the first time day before yesterday on Instagram. I'm gonna try to find the photo and put it on top of the video if I can find a way to do that. And I absolutely loved them. I didn't really realize that it was a sock shoe. It literally looked like he was wearing black socks. I went to the Valentino website and tried to find them but I couldn't so I just gave up. And funnily enough, as I was on Matches Fashion yesterday night, and I stumbled across this pair of shoes, and it was 50% off. Didn't really think twice, ended up buying them. Not many sizes available. These are a bit tight, and I might need to size up. I think I got them 41, and there's a 41.5 available. So I may have to change them and get a 41.5, just so it can be a bit more comfortable. But <laughs> I don't really care. I'm still gonna be wearing them. I'm gonna be rocking these. I absolutely love the way they look They're super futuristic and 300 pounds for Valentina shoes. I don't even care how much pain I have to endure. Moving on to Tommy Hilfiger. I'm not really a huge fan of Tommy Hilfiger. I don't I've never really bought anything from them apart from maybe like a basic logo t-shirt probably like three or four years ago. But I went to their website last week and I found some very cool pieces that I thought that I could use uh, during spring. So I ended up buying this blue hoodie and it's just a basic blue hoodie. It says Hilfiger New York on the side and it has this very cool like red detailing everywhere. It's like a ruffle texture which I really like because that it fits so much nicer than any other hoodie that I've had. I thought it would be a great piece to wear over search at the moment because it is still pretty cold in London. And maybe later on when the weather is a bit warmer that I could just wear it by itself. Next up I just got a white t-shirt. Now I got this in size medium and it's huge. I think it's an oversized fit. So I would definitely need to size down because I don't really like wearing my t-shirts that baggy. I kind of love how vintage the t-shirt looks, the colors of the Tommy, but I'll definitely need to get a small on this one, which I'm still sure it'll be big enough to maybe layer it up and then just again wear it uh, as a t-shirt over summer. And then the third thing I got from Tommy is this blue cardigan with red detailing. Obviously the colors are very bright, but that's one of the reasons why I liked it so much. It's because I can elevate an outfit just by wearing like a white shirt and blue jeans. And this one's all. Then I'm the center of attention, which is great. But the only issue is that this is small and I feel like it's still a bit oversized on me. So I'll definitely need to size down into an extra small maybe if they have. Moving on to Buchumann, I'm gonna try to go through them as fast as I can. I got a grey hoodie because literally I cannot have enough hoodies. I've been wearing them so much and again I layer them up with shirts. I don't know why this is such a big deal but I get so much hate comments on Instagram for the fact that I wear shirts under hoodies. I don't see the problem with it. It's pretty cold here and I see people doing it all the time. I see it on editorials. I see it on online stores. I don't understand why it's such a fashion crime. I think anybody can wear whatever they want to as long as they're happy and I'm happy with searching hoodies and I'm planning on doing the same for these. Then I got these trousers, they're skinny fit, check print and distressed, but yeah, they are distressed. I had no idea. I really like the print of them and they feel very sturdy which sometimes is hit and miss with Buchman. Next one I got this purple shirt, I hope it reads purple because it is purple. I really like the color, it's not like a color that I normally wear, but neon is on trend right now and it has a bit of neon and so I thought I would go for that. It's so warm in here. Then I got this denim jacket and I really, really like the details of it. It has the number 19 in the front and then on the other side it says man, like on a very cool pattern, kind of like Manchester United. It just feels very like footballer, just 
college dog and yeah I was living for it behind it's a savanna I feel like it would be a great summer piece to have over the next few months and lastly it does suit great with uh, all the other things that I got because I do want to clarify that these were given to me by Buchuman so I wanted to create an outfit out of them and yes moving on into one of my favorite brands and that is Sandro now I did get a few pieces from Sandro and I have not yet opened the box so excited to see what's in here Sandro had their annual outlet sale last week which means most of these items were 50 to 80 percent off which is amazing for Sandro because they do have great quality products and most of the things you will have in your wardrobe for years to come so they're kind of like investment pieces two years ago I got a sweatshirt from Sandro uh, again on during their auto sale and I still wear it. I literally wore it yesterday. Now this is probably the most random thing I got and I really need to try it on just to see if I like the fit of it. But it's this jacket. It's kind of like a pleasure jacket. So I thought I would jump into the trend and try one of these. I just really like the design of it. Some pockets in here and the lining goes all the way onto the back. I think it's perfect for London weather. It's been raining so much the past two weeks. Next up is this shirt and I really don't know how I feel about this. In my defense the sale did start at midnight and I was already tired by then and I, I think I went into the website at maybe 12.30 and a lot of things were already sold out so I kind of ended up picking whatever was left on my size and this is one of them. Print is a bit different from what I would normally go for but I think it would be maybe a good option for like as a vacation shirt or with white pants just kind of justify it as a maybe summer piece then from Sandro I also got these wide leg trousers again what was I thinking with the fit I'm not sure but I'm gonna have to try them on to see but they do look pretty cool as I said Sandro does some great quality pieces and since that was on sale for like 40 pounds I thought just maybe try it out and if it works be a great piece to have on my wardrobe because I know that it's gonna last me for a long time. Last but not least from Sandro, quickly before my camera dies. This one I got in a size small and I think this is gonna look great with a white t-shirt underneath and maybe like with the last button closed. Just a plain blue shirt that every guy needs in his wardrobe. Really versatile. You can do so many things with it. You can even wear it at the beach like with a literally like a swimsuit under. I keep just justifying my purchases for the beach. It's like I really want a vacation. And that concludes everything in today's try on haul. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to like it and subscribe to my channel. And also make sure to follow my Instagram to see how I ended up styling these pieces. Till next time, bye bye.